why are we so challenged when it comes to predicting the future? What, what is real and what isn't real? Anyone subscribe to Science and, uh, Invention and Technology magazine? Really cool, really cool uh, magazine because it, it talks about sort of the history of, of invention and, and all the stuff that's kind of led up to the present day madness. And last year, I, actually I think it was 2009, uh, one of the issues had Maxwell Smart on the cover. And we all know Maxwell Smart is, right? So I grew up watching Get Smart, one of my favorite shows. And, and I left this on the kitchen table one day. And again, my daughter Mia, at, the, at that time she must have been about 13 or so, saw it. And she said, I, I, I don't get it. Why is he talking into his shoe? So I gave her the whole thing. I explained to her who Maxwell Smart was and Secret Agent and this was his phone. And she said, no, 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 no. I, I, I kind of figured that out. But why isn't he using a cell phone? I said, no, you're not getting it. We didn't have cell phones back then. This is what we thought cell phones would look like. And by the way, it's got a rotary dial. It's not even a push button shoe phone. She completely didn't get it. She didn't see the humor in this. Why do we get the future so wrong? When the first Motorola brick, did anyone own one of these things? Oh, and you were so proud of it too, right? It's like a World War II walkie-talkie. I mean, it, it looks so clunky now. And they cost a few thousand dollars. My first cell phone, I think, cost me three or four thousand dollars. I mean, I can't remember back that far, and I was so proud to have it. What were the estimates, the most outrageous estimates that existed at that time for how many cell phones would be in use in the year 2010? Anyone? And you can do some Googling on this when you, when you get back and, and, and check it out. The most outrageous estimates were that we would have 10 million cell phones in service. We have 5 billion. That's a big rounding error, OK? <laughs> Why do we get the future that wrong? Because what we discount is what you're all trying to solicit with your efforts. We discount the emotional behavior that comes with any new technology. That's the most important thing you can influence. Apple didn't influence just technology with this thing. This wasn't about technology. This was about how I behave. It changed the way I live my life. It became a must-have if I wanted to live my life in a certain way. That's innovation through behavior. It's not innovation through technology. When you influence a marketplace, what you influence is the emotional 